That's Bill. And that's Will. Welcome back to the Bill and Will Show. And we have on tap Word Up. Word Up. It's our local game, you know. Our local word association game. Okay. So let's get to it. You ready, Gibbs? I'm ready. Let me get ready. Cancel out of that. All right, let's go. Uh, word up. Word up. Who would you like to start with, Gibson? Um, <clears throat> let's start with the uh, crossover fights. UFC? UFC crossover fights. Okay. So, when I say to you UFC and crossover fights, we've talked about um, the Nunez fight with Shields. When you hear crossover fights for the UFC, what comes to your mind? Ridiculous. 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 Why would an MMA fighter want to fight someone in boxing? Boxing is a fledgling sport. A what? Fledgling. Fledgling. Okay. Fledgling sport. Dying. There's no reason to go over there and suck the meat off those dead carcasses. Why? Now, if you are a boxer, and you come over here, let's just say you beat one of them. Just, you're just lucky because anybody can win on any night. Mm -hmm. You get lucky and beat one of them. <laughs> you're not going to do it again. <laughs> it ain't going to happen again. Never know. That's it's ridiculous. It's lucrative. Again, it's Money Monday. Go get y'all money, man. Any way possible, Dana White, if that's what it's, it's going to take. You going to get some bigger names? It's no. How, how is that going to benefit the UFC? There's nobody over here to fight. Who is on the fight? You didn't see the shoulders moving with the money dance? Is that the money dance? It's, it's money. It's all about money giving. Man, For it's, money, not, it's not going to benefit the UFC. I don't know why they hey, even get Adam money. Adam Iverson made a crossover into money. Dana White trying to do the same thing. The WNBA. And their new players' union agreement is... Thank you. It is... It's hard to use one word. But if I had to use one word, I would say... Oh, pass due is what I'm using. You being a landlord, you know what pass due <laughs> is. This is pass due, ladies. Give me my money. Yeah, y'all deserve everything y'all got in your yeah. contract in, in, in back in 2090. 1990. I don't know how long y'all have been. Why y'all been working under these slave contracts? 2004, y'all should have had this stuff when when the when the Houston swoosh or whatever it was called winning championships. Your own rooms. Y'all didn't have y'all own rooms. Well, we didn't have our rooms overseas either, so I can understand that. Um, maternity leave. Y'all didn't have time for. They didn't have maternity leave. I don't know. I don't know. But I know they got that something like that. Yeah, they got, they got paid. maternity leave. They got they got higher wages. Yeah, they got higher wages for the um for the the max salary. So y'all y'all got some stuff that was way overdue. Way overdue. And okay, yeah. So I wish y'all I wish y'all would have I wish y'all would have not signed this contract and got way more stuff that y'all was deserving now. Y'all got stuff that, that was overdue that y'all should have had already. Uh reparations. Reparations. Donald Trump. Reparations. <laughs> reparations. So it's overdue. Trump. Long overdue. <laughs> Pelosi. <laughs> I need <laughs> I need that yeah. back. <laughs> Y'all need some reparation, WNBA. For oh, sure. man. Amazing. I'm glad they got it. Uh, NFL, your, 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 take, your one word takeaway for Super Bowl 2020. My one word takeaway, great. I'm just going to use that word, great. It was a really good game. <clears throat> it was a good game. The two best teams were there. The best team won. The best player out there won the MVP. And, you know, great halftime show. It was great. I got two words. I'm sorry. Two Cl words. Climate control. You should have a Super Bowl in Miami every year. Why? Why would you want to go to Minnesota? <laughs> Why would they, you want to go? They playing indoors. Indo uh, do you got to get to the game? Outdoors. 
through snow. Just have it in Miami. Everybody can come. The stars can come. Did you see Jerry Boat? See, his, did you see Jerry Boat? I did. Jerry can't pull up in that two hundred fifty million dollar boat in Minnesota. He pulled up in it too. So climate control, NFL, just have it in in either LA or Miami every single year. No. Or 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 Jerry's World. Either or. <clears throat> okay. See, hold on a second. Do you did you see? At the beginning of the game, when they showed all those old Super Bowl uh, games and showed all, some of those old playoff games, they look fun. That those guys were in the elements. It was in the in the dirt, in the mud, in the snow, in the rain. They look fun. That makes the game. You're gonna if they play twenty years or ten years at Miami, and in the year eleven, and they start going back to showing the old Super, they're gonna be at the same place, the same thing every time. A part of the game, a part of the excitement of the game is actually going to the game. You couldn't go to Miami? Yeah. And then you want it in your city Baseball. sometime. Baseball. Man, come on. The Astros hire of Dusty Baker is fantastic. I'm going to use a better word. Fantastical. 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 They got a guy that can, that can steer this ship in these muddy waters right now. The scandal, cheating, sign stealing, fines, five million. They need a guy that can say, hey, everybody, calm down, relax, I got you. And that's Dusty Baker. He can do that. Now, he's not a long term fix, but he's definitely a short term fix. That's a good hire. You know what? That's an alpha move. What do you think? One word. Camouflage. Hire a, a, a great guy that everybody loves in the in the MLB. Everybody loves Dusty Baker. Everybody loves Dusty Baker. You see, he's him. a proven winner. Everybody loves him, so he's a winner. A, you put him on the team. Of course, you throw a black guy out there, you know, to calm the storms. And this is ridiculous. Man. What? This is ridiculous. Uh, you know how I feel about. I don't baseball, know how you feel man. about it because camouflage. Dusty Baker. He's he's. Everybody loves Dusty Baker. He's okay, like so what's the problem? Dope boy. So what's the problem? You need so you don't know. You need to take your you. Why? You should you. you they should, in a big mess. You should be. You should be stripped of your manager. Will. Will. You should, you should. You don't deserve a manager. Will. Your last manager. Cheated, man. Will. You gotta, you don't, you, why you, you get, now you get to go out there and you cheat and do all this stuff and you, you get Dusty Baker as a reward? I don't like that. That's not man. a reward. That's a reward. You just said everybody loves I said that he's trying to steer this ship in the muddy waters. That's camouflage, man. I don't know camouflage. They need this guy. They need, yeah, they need a lot of stuff. They need, yeah. they, they need their championship taken away. Uh oh. February 22nd, Wilder versus Fury. Uh oh. Amazing. This is going to be amazing. Your quote unquote biggest puncher in mm -hmm. boxing history. Don't history. Word. Boxing history. Got a rematch mm -hmm. with Tyson Fury. I can't wait. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I ain't seen nobody punch since Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Fury, Fury and Wilder. What can I say? I like Fury. You do? I like Fury, man. He's a, he's a, he's a character. He's, he's a, a character. He's a gypsy guy that. He's a character. He's That's a gypsy sure. guy that knows where he's from, knows where he comes from, knows his lineages, knows his, knows his background. Was bred for this, and he was bred for this. So Wilder's definitely. I mean, Fury is definitely someone that I can root for if he wasn't fighting against Wilder. One word that comes to. That comes to, for this fight is pandemonium. Pandemonium. You Panda think it's going to be pandemonium? I think it's in Las Vegas. Oh. I know it's in Las yeah. Vegas. Yeah. Heavyweights in Las Vegas? Guess what? That's old school. That's old school fighting right there, baby. Um, I'm, I love it. Uh, I won't be there. <laughs> I deal with pandemonium. I'm going to watch it from my TV. But it's going to be pandemonium. I think it's it's it's... It's a fight that sets up a greater fight. 
a greater fight. Yeah. Between uh, Joshua, I believe it, Joshua. Joshua's the paper champ. He ain't no real champ. There you go. He ain't no real champ. <laughs> mm -mm. 